I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys, welcome to PLS Tips with Manny. This is a brand new edition. Uh, today is June 30th, so last day of the month. Uh, we are officially halfway through the uh, year already. Wow, so uh, a lot of things happening this year. Very, very busy year for me. And I wanted to just take a moment in this week's PLS tip and talk about something simple. Um, well, that's not necessarily simple because a lot of people have difficulties obtaining it. But it's happiness. You know what makes you happy? How to stay happy? Because happiness is a very, 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 <laughs> a very uh, big key to success. Because if you're not happy in what you're doing, you're not passionate about what you do, you're not loving what you do. It's very difficult to make an honest living or even make you know a successful living at doing what you do. So today's PLS tip is going to be quite simple and really just showing you some tips and strategies on how to make the best of life and be happy. So I'm just going to kind of share what kind of things I do on a daily basis and monthly, yearly basis to make myself happy and what I've done over the past couple of years that's kind of helped me attain that level of, of excitement and passion that I have in my business and life. So we'll start off with, um, you know, how did I get to a, a position of where I'm at today where I'm always saying, you know, I'm too blessed to be stressed. I love what I'm doing. Everyone sees how happy I am. What's funny is I had a, a funny um, situation happen to me a couple of weeks ago in Beverly Hills. And uh, I came to an event uh, after this happened and a buddy of mine was there and, uh, and I was just kind of down on my luck, kind of a little bit, not down on my luck, but just kind of different mood, right? Different vibe. It, this would typically, you know, make someone just go off the edge if this happened to them. But for me, you know, he looked at me and he's like, man, what happened? Man, you look so down. You look blue. And I'm like, I ah, just kind of dealing with this thing right now and explain the situation. He was like, oh, man, that's crazy. I've never seen you like this. This is weird. You know, you're always so happy. You're always just too blessed to be stressed, Manny Lopez. And, you know, to come over here and you you got this different mood, it's just it's finally cool to see you human. <laughs> That's what he was saying to me. So it kind of got to me like, wow, man, maybe I am just so happy. And, and what, what has been the difference? And I've seen that it's, it's really changed my outlook on a lot of things that I do and how I let that affect me. So kind of the tips and, and stuff that I would focus on initially is, is making sure you're doing something that you're passionate about. Find something that you love to do and make it a part of your business, how you make your living. Because the last thing you want to do is be, you know, trading in dollars for a paycheck. Excuse me a second. Come in. Can you close the door a little bit, Papa? I got my little man here with me. Come over here, Papa. Come say hi. hi. Can you see? All right, this little man, Xavier, he's helped me out today. I've got a little summer internship I kind of started with my little ones. Um, if you guys follow me, any much you'll know I've got a, a few kids of my own I got three actually two boys uh, a girl um, and a wife uh, I was thinking there's gonna be something else in there <laughs> like a dog or something right but uh, this is little man here Xavier my youngest boy he's five years old and this is a big key to my happiness this is a very very big key to it because I'm I get to be an example for somebody else I get to be a mentor I get to be somebody that they can look up to and, and look to be somebody of, of value, right? If you have something that you can strive for, whether it be a kid you're mentoring, your own kids you're mentoring, uh, a business partner you're mentoring, become a mentor. That should be a first key to becoming uh, happy is, is find something that you're really good at and teach somebody else that loves that as well how to do it. You'll be surprised at how much happiness you can generate from that. And, and really have a key to, to being something different. Um, it's more than just, you know, I'm out there and doing stuff for myself. I, I really noticed that it really wasn't making me happy doing things for myself. You know, I can go out there and make my six-figure income. I can go out there and, uh, and be the top salesman at the companies I'm at and, and making a great income. But if you're not loving what you do, you go home at the end of the day and you're just like, why? You know, obviously the paycheck, I guess. But you know, for some people, it's it's more than that, and it should be because money is not going to buy your happiness. It's not going to, you know, it could get you opportunities and make them easier for you to get that happiness because it gives you that ability to resource. But 
the money itself is not what's not what's going to make you happy. Because think about this: so you're on your deathbed, okay? You're about to pass on. Do you think the last thing you're thinking about is, man, I wish I made a million dollars that that freaking year or or something like? No, you're going to be thinking about the people that are in your circle that are either there or not there. It's relationships. It's all about being a resource to others, being a value, build other people. When you can build others, that is what's going to create a lot of wealth in your life, whether that be financially, whether that be emotionally, you got to create wealth in the fact of building relationships with others. You'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. It's really amazing. So some of the key things that I, I do to keep myself happy is first, really involve my family in what I do. Okay, family should be a big focal point in, uh, in, in building anything because you need people, you need relationships. And if that can be with family, if that can make, you know, best friends that you consider family, whatever it may be. For me, it's my family. You know, I'm adopted. I was an orphan at 18 months, um, adopted multiple times and returned and finally adopted at around four uh, with a family and, and stayed there throughout my childhood and, and my adulthood. Um, but I noticed that being adopted really gave me the sense of wanting to have a family of my own and be able to make a different way for my life. You know, I wanted to have somebody I could call on or, or somebody that I know looks up to me and sees me of value. I just wanted to be of value to somebody, right? And, and not be just a, a castaway or, or be someone that is um, used when they can and, or used when needed, basically. I love the fact that I have a family now that looks to me as everything. It looks to me as their protector, their provider, um, someone who's going to be you know, there to talk to them and guide them in the right direction. When you can be an example for someone, you know, be accountable to yourself and not just you know, your, you know, be accountable to others and not just yourself. You can see how it's it's going to change you. It's going to make you into somebody that either you want to be or you don't. And if it's something that you don't want to be, that's probably not something you should be doing. You know, really make sure that if you're finding something that you're going to be creating your legacy on of on with, then it's got to be something that is powerful. It's got to be something that's going to give you a, a reason to wake up in the morning and, and put on those shoes and put on that suit or that dress or, you know, whatever outfit you're going to have on your uniform and your, and your work. Make sure it's something that's going to make you smile at the end of the day and said, I did something. I changed the world. I changed the life of that one person or those people that you're doing, right? It's you just want to make sure that you have something of value to give to the earth. You didn't come in here. God didn't create you to just pay bills and die, to work, you know, 50, 60, 40 hours a, a week at somebody else's dream, right? You need to build your own dream, whether it be, you know, providing a, a financial stability for your family so you can take that time on vacations and, and raising them. You know, if you're spending your entire life, you know, half of your life, and think about it, you got... Let's see, if you're working eight hours a day and you sleep eight hours a day, you get eight hours a day to live your life, a third, to do with it what you want. And most of that is going to be spent wasting time. You know, you got uh, all kinds of different things that you do on a daily basis. And is it returning value to you? Is it giving you a sense of purpose? If it's giving you that ability to say, yes, I did something at the end of the day, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Maybe that's your passion. Maybe that's something that you love to do and you can make it your own business or you can make it a way to partner with people and, and have joint ventures and leverage relationships and become a, a resource of value to your industry. You know, find something that you love to do, become an expert at it and make that a way of life for yourself. You don't even have to get paid for it if you don't want to, you know, or don't need to make it something that you love to do because at the end of the day, you want to go home and you want to lay down on that couch or lay down your bed and, and, and say, yes, I did something. Yes, I became a resource of knowledge or a value to somebody that's outside of my own circle, right? If you can touch one more person that week or that day or that hour with what you can give, do it, you know, give out. I've seen my success in business come from 
giving out to others, sharing my knowledge, giving it out for free, and that has given me more social proof than anything else versus me hiding everything to myself and saying, you know what, it's all mine, I have to do it, it's, you have to pay me to get access to any of this, otherwise you get nothing. You know, it, it just gives you a very limited reach of what you can do. But if you open up yourself and share your story, share your life, share your hardship, share what's difficult for you, let people know you're human, right? Let people know that you're not just as some top echelon that's living on top of a hill or some bottom feeder that's just struggling every day in their life. Give them why you're hopeful, why you're passionate, why you love doing what you do. And give them the heartache. Give them the, here's why I'm struggling, but here's why I'm not giving up. Here's why I have a focus on this. Give yourself something to strive for. Make goals, make you know charts of, of success and, and blueprints, something that's going to give you a reason to have a structured way of going for it, for being who you want to be. Stop limiting yourself to being you know stuck at your dead end job or living a life you don't want or not doing your passion because you don't have enough time in the day. Why? I mean, you have you don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow. You don't even know if you're going to be here by the time this video finishes. You just don't know what's going to happen. So why waste any second not doing what you love? Give it your all, 100%. That's the only thing I can give out. Once you do that and you follow your passion, you're going to see the happiness just trickle in and it's just going to get better and better and better and better. And as you see what you're doing, the hardships that you come across are nothing burgers. I mean, if I can just look at the stuff that happened to me this year alone, right? I could easily drown my myself in sorrow and just be like, oh man, everything's out to get me. It's so bad. Why does this always happen to me? Oh my God. It's always about the way you react to that situation. I could look at the situations that I'm dealing with and be negative about them or do what I always do and say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Why Why care about something you have no control over? Why if, let that affect you, right? If it's happened, it happened. Deal with it, create it as a learning experience. I never look at failure as a failure. To me, it's always a learning experience. I've taken everything that I've learned and I've, everything that I've gone through and I've seen how it's helped me make decisions in the future. Like for example, I have some business decisions I made earlier this year that didn't pan out too well, but in order for me to know that they did not pan out too well, I had to go through it. Because otherwise I would continue to always think, what if, what if, what if, what if, versus being, okay, now I know, here's what not to do, here's how I can benefit from that down the road, and here's how it's gonna make sense on this new way of me doing this, which has now turned out to be a lot more effective way for me doing business. So it's just, it's always a learning experience. For me, it's never a failure because now, I can take what I've learned on that situation and apply it to my future business, which is going to help me generate even better results than what I currently did because now I see what not to do. Okay, Don't ever look at failures as something of negative. Always look at it as something as a learning experience. It's all, you're going to have to go through failures to get success. Not one person who's making seven figures, eight figures, nine figures, even ten figures, not one of them has had not had the taste of failure. Every single one of them has failed multiple, multiple times to get to success. Every single one of them. So look at your, your failures right now as a learning experience and a way for you to grow. Once you see that, you can understand the value of every experience that you have. And you'll see it as something positive. Every single thing that you go through, there's a way to look at it positively. You could be getting sued from somebody and be like, Okay, well, now I'm going to get some legal advice. I'm going to be able to get some legal knowledge on, on what's going to happen in, in whatever situation you may be in. It may be detrimental at the time, but you're going to notice that that small, that thing that looks huge now, it's going to look so small in a couple years from now when you have something that's even bigger on the table that you're put in front of that. That small little situation helped you now get through where you didn't have to deal with that even bigger problem that could have been arised. So that's my concept. It's really all about just making sure you're following what you do in life that you're passionate about. Don't go wasting your dead end life uh, at a dead end job for a dead end paycheck to live in a dead end world, right? There's just too much opportunity in this world. We have 7 billion people, 7 billion people. So regardless of whatever it is you're passionate about, there's at least a thousand people minimally that would even love to do business with you easily.
right off the bat, at least a thousand people. So think about that. No matter what you're doing, you could be the dumbest thing. You could be selling, you know, used toilet paper. I don't know. You're going to have a thousand people that will buy that used toilet paper. It's ridiculous. People are, you have no idea that how easy it is to do business when you just assume the sale, assume that people love your product. You have confidence in what you do and be excited about it. Okay, that's a really big key as well. It's something I should just kind of give you a quick rundown on. Passion, excitement, confidence, these are very, very big factors in making any sale that you're doing. You guys are all in sales, whether it be you're selling yourself to the customers that you do business with, whether you're selling, you know, the idea of, hey, come to my birthday party this weekend. You're always selling. You're selling, selling, selling. So always have a positive attitude, confidence in your product. Trust me, the confidence level alone is about 90% of the sale. If you go in the in the, con, in the call saying, I know this can help you. Here's how it's going to do it. I so believe in this, how it's going to work for you. Let me show you how it works. Da, 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 da. Give me a chance, blah, blah, blah. Whatever situation that you can put yourself in front of. But the confidence level in that alone is what's really going to give you that extra oomph to get that person to say, yes, I trust you. I believe in what you can do for me. Because if you're second guessing whether or not you can help them, by all means, they're going to second guess it as well. They're going to be like, well, it's just this guy's not even you know, confident he can help me. Why would I think he's going to be? You know, If this guy doesn't know how to do it, he's the expert in this field. Well, shoot, well, what, a, what chance do I have, right? So happiness, happiness, happiness. Be excited about life, man. I mean, there's just so much opportunity. You could be going through the craziest stuff, but you're breathing. You're more than likely healthy. You've got most of your limbs, if not all of them. You, you know, you, you probably got a family that, that supports you, or maybe you don't. Maybe you got some friends that support you. I've plenty of got family that don't support me. It's, you know, regardless of how successful I can be in business or in life, you're always going to have haters. You're always going to have people that don't see the vision. They can't see what you see, right? You have to see it before you can be it, plain and simple. If you can't see the passion of what you can do and how you can change the world, you know, it, it's going to be difficult for you to go out there and do it. So see it before you believe it and everything can fall into place from there. The universe will work in your favor. Just get them out of the way with all that negative thinking. You take all that negative out of your mind and just focus on the positive and what you can do. There's no impossibilities in this world. Everybody, you know, has proven everybody wrong. It's, it's crazy how we, you know, just 10, 20 years ago, what the things that people have said were that's impossible. That's never going to happen. Da, 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 da. And then look, two, three, four, five years down the road, it happens. Somebody says, you know what? I'll take you up on that offer. I'll challenge that. And they make it happen. There's always a will and a way if you are passionate enough and have dri drive enough to make it work. Plain and simple. Don't ever give up on your dreams and what you can do because negativity is what will stop you from becoming who you are plain and simple. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I love helping you guys in this PLS tips. All I need from you guys is let me know what I can do to be a resource of you guys. I've got, you know, tons of, of value that I have, tons of resources, tons of people on my network that I learn from on a daily basis that really gives me these tools. These all didn't come from me. I didn't just think of everything. This was all taught to me through somebody else that has shown value in the industry that says, Hey, you can do it. Here's how. I've done it, right? You just follow somebody that has done it, that you look up to, that you admire, that you have some connection with, and just learn about what they do. Apply it to what you can do in your business and just watch your flowers bloom, plain and simple. So I'll leave you guys with that. You guys have a great week. Um, Fourth of July is coming up, so that's exciting. You guys, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, same time, same place plstips.com and uh, you guys have a great rest of your week and always remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Hold on, come say bye. They didn't see you. You weren't in the camera. There you are. Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Deuces. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the family.